Hi everyone, this is Wei Kai Sun with Synopsis. Today, I would like to walk you through with some of the custom compiler technology highlights in our latest major release 2022.06. Custom compiler is Synopsis analog mix signal design platform. It's a proven modern alternative for all analog mix signal designs. The platform has been used by Synopsys internal IP group, which is one of the top mixed signal IP design teams producing hundreds of the IP titles across all different process technologies with all different sort of uh, design styles. Custom Compiler has also been used by many, many external customers across different product segments, including Samsung and Panasonic. It's very easy to be adopted. Um, we have just last year more than 30 new customers adopting and migrating to custom design platform, uh, custom compiler. On top of that, custom compiler has a very differentiated pro uh, technology to improve productivity for both circuit designer and layout engineers. For the circuit design side, what we are focusing on is design closure, which reduces the iteration between the initial schematic creation to the final implementation of the circuit blocks and IP blocks. On the layout side, we've been focusing on improving layout productivity by introducing advanced features, what we call visually assisted layout methodology, especially in face of the uh, comprehensive rules in the FinFAT technologies. There are three focuses for our custom compiler in terms of technology. One is fast analog design closure. As I mentioned earlier, it focuses on enabling circuit designers to be able to close their design through various te techniques in design methods to be able to gouge prosthetic effect as the layout is being done, partial layout extraction, part, when you have the part of the layout implemented, important part of the layout, hopefully, you can do the extraction combined with the pre-layout schematics, um, have a simulatable test benches so that a circuit designer can access, gouge the impact as soon as possible. This is the overall shift left verification methodology to use the best available prosthetics. So that's the design culture. Uh, custom layer automation, the, with the FinFET, especially with the FinFET technology, advanced design rules, uh, there are a lot more uh, complex rules for layout engineer to remember. The layout work, manual layout work, is become a serious bottleneck of any RP development. Custom Compiler has developed advanced features like a QSK, symbolic editor, in, interactive routings, pattern routings, and the QSK to help uh, improve layout engineers' productivity. The custom digital layout is also uh, driven by user-guided schematic-driven automation and connect with our ICC2 and Fusion Compiler digital platform to have a seamless co-design capabilities. And last but not least, design reuse with template-based flow. The last one of the technology focus is a few areas, what we call emerging applications, right? System level device going to the advanced packages. So, and a lot of the analog type of design styles are using info type of design. So that's why our info uh, find out wafer level packaging router uh, play in the 3D IC arena. Silicon Photonics, Synopsis is the only company has all the design flows in Silicon Photonics uh, design chain. And one important platform is Opto Compiler, which is built together on top of a custom compiler as well. And DTCO design technology core optimization is one of the, mo the most important factor to drive the more slow continue to shrinking down in addition to the process shrinking itself. And here again, Synopsys is the only company to have TCAD simulation, TCAD 
circuit simulation design platform to access the design, uh, the technology trend, and technology per tuning impact to different design style like a digital designs, analog design, and RF designs. On to the analog design closure area. As I mentioned before, this is one of the focus for technology uh, trends for custom compiler, and the whole idea is to enable circuit and designers to have early access to prosthetics before the final layout is done. One important aspect in this, in this shift left strategy is what we call partial layout extraction. Here in this diagram, you, one can see parts in the, in, the, in the overall schematic, some part of the layout is done, either important devices and or important high speed signal nets are being laid out. And this partially done layout are being are called, we call sign off engines like a star C to extract those layout that are valuable. For those, lay, for those circuit that's without layout, it still have either a schematic itself or estimated RC elements um, and have combined them together so that it can be fed into a pre-layout test benches for circuit designer to have access, to assess and to understand the earlier the layout impact to their circuit blocks. Now this technology is in production use already in 2206. In fact, we have two Samsung papers in this year's SNUC user conference talking about both in design, electrical reporting, as well as partial layout. I highly recommend everybody to check out the video recording of this particular success story. All right, moving on, um, in the 2206, we also have a comprehensive uh, reliability analysis workflow, uh, what we call prime semi reliability. It, it is a unified workflow of proven reliability analysis technology in production and foundry certified including a wide range of the capabilities and the reliability checks. Uh, what's listed here, for example, custom faults, uh, aging, EMRR, high sigma Monte Carlo analysis, and electrical rule checks, to name a few. And th this slew of reliability analysis is now combined together in a prime reliability environment uh, workflow integrated with prime sim continuum uh, various different prime, uh, simulation engines as part of the overall prime wave reliability environment and this prime wave reliability environment as one can see here on the left is a one single environment to allow circuit designer, layout engineer, reliability engineer to run in one place all sort of reliability problems that I mentioned earlier. And this primary reliability environment is actually built on top of what we call custom infrastructure. The same infrastructure layer, custom compiler built on top. So with that unified integration, this whole environment can have easy access to design database to allow cross probing for example right? flexible and is flexible and customizable just like custom compiler environment and now it's all is the circuit circuit checker EMR analysis is now available in 2206 okay on to the custom layer automation pattern route is a one of the important automation methodology for our device level automation or what we call visually assisted layer automation. It creates matched routing with patterns, save the routing patterns and templates for future use. It supports various different methodologies and functionalities, uh, design styles as well. New in 2206, as we continue to extend this technology, we have added a add added review multiple nets to be able to do that simultaneously and use, update the pattern 
parameters graphically, so make it a lot easier for people to use, visualize use, editing, and we also start to support spine only pattern as well. Last but not least, and this is very important, is to allow the user to modify existing patterns and import and export the patterns for later reuse. So one can imagine this kind of a patterns will be accumulated a set of a experience for the particular design team of the company. As people adding more patterns for their device level per their design style, the future designs of the same IP project or future IP project will be able to leverage uh, the benefit that previous uh, uh, knowledge has been captured in that pattern library. Custom Compiler in 2206 has also added a Python API support. Um, Custom Compiler from day one was implemented with an open environment in mind. It has Tickle C++ API support already. Um, and now we are adding the across the ov overall platform Python API support as well. Python is a modern open platform has a lot of very powerful libraries behind it, including, for example, recent years, a large set of machine learning capability using Python libraries. So with this uh, Python API support, it will further extend uh, the capability of a custom compiler. So the capable end users like a CAD engineers, circuit designers, layout engineers, can actually use our platform to get a whole lot more and the widespread, wide available uh, Python libraries in the industry to get the most um, out of the custom compiler. It has you know, supported the user experience reset, uh, user experience such as dialogues, assists, actions, and menus. But again, the whole database access layer that Tickle used to support, we have the same support in Python now uh, to allow people to tap into the modern language. On to the emerging applications. I mentioned the uh, system design now is going into advanced packages, which is essentially the heterogeneous integration that are happening on the package level. It's from the complexity point of view, it has multiple different chips with multiple different uh, foundry technologies, potentially, including CMOS, RF, bipolar process, as well as silicon photonics, right? And the complexity of it is ever increasing to the extent it is similar to the IC design complexity in terms of bomb site, number of nets. And then from the comprehensive rules it has the same package PCB board type of rules, including teardrop shapes, including any any angle routing requirement, including PG plan and the comprehensive complex degressing holes. So it's really the combination of two words together into the 3D IC uh, advanced packaging routing uh, area. And Synopsys has been investing in the uh, fang out wafer level packaging routing technology and we, the technology has been recently certified by TSMC. It's very customizable to support all different custom substra uh, substrate, has a high capacity and a high performance, like I, the IC like. And the, it has the same, also the, it support the complex shapes and rules uh, from the packaging world and the PCB world. Uh, very new in 2206, we have introduced the differential pair routing uh, support as well. So in addition to the new technologies, uh, we have introduced 2206. So, some synopsis, a custom compiler has differentiating te technology, technologies such as a sim a symbolic editor, some people call it stick diagram, to help graphically visualize device level placement. Yes, analog reuse with template with the idea of previous design IP to learn from what's already de designed, 
take the IP that are already designed, apply them for new IP in the same technology or even in the different technology. Yes, in design analysis with calling sign off engines, so you have the consistent accuracy level for during the design cycles. Um, this this 2206, we introduced production level uh, partial layout extraction into this uh, category. And last but not least, a unified analog digital co-design environment where the co coupled with ICC2 or Fusion compiler, uh, engineers can go back and forth from the digital environment to the analog mixed signal environment like a custom compiler seamlessly without a loss of information. It's built behind the database level connections that can enable the information transfer back and forth. So that again, the engineers who are impl implementing an SOC, a mixed signal chip, that can use the best tools for the particular part of the design very easily without worrying about the interfaces between the different platforms. Thank you for watching this 2206 uh, product highlight.